Hello friends, myself Rinki Singh, Assistant Professor in IT Department at IMS Ghaziabad University Courses Campus. Today's topic of discussion is sparse matrices. Now what is sparse matrices? Sparse matrix is a matrix which contains very few non-zero elements. That is, we can say if a matrix contains more number of zero values than non-zero values, such matrix is known as sparse matrix. As we can see in this diagram, we have very few non-zero values but more number of zero values. So such matrices are known as sparse matrices. Now, when we store sparse matrices in the form of two-dimensional array then a lot of space gets wasted for example if we have an integer matrix of size 100 by 100 and it contains only 10 non-zero values then to store a matrix of size 100 by 100 means 100 rows and 100 columns we are allocating to 20,000 bytes of space in memory. 100 rows, 100 columns, per value needs 2 bytes because integer needs 2 bytes. So 20,000 bytes of space gets allocated and among those 20,000 bytes only 10 non-zero elements we have to store. And to access these 10 non-zero elements we have to make scanning for 10,000 memory locations every time. So, instead of storing zeros with non zero elements, means instead of storing sparse matrices in the form of normal two dimensional arrays, we only store non zero elements. So, to represent or to store sparse matrices, we use the following. Two common representations. One is triplet representation or known as array representation. Second one is linked list representation. First triplet representation. In this representation, we consider only non-zero values along with their row and column index values. For example, we have a sparse matrix. To store this sparse matrix in using triplet notation or triplet representation we use a triplet of rows columns and values where first row or zeroth row represents total number of rows in the sparse matrix total number of columns in the sparse matrix and total non zero values in the sparse matrix for example in this mat sparse matrix we have 1 2 3 4 5 5 rows so this value will be 5 we have 6 columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 then columns number of columns is 6 and total non zero values is equal to 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so first row contains total number of rows total number of columns and total number of non zero values now after that next row onwards will contain row number, column number and the known zero values. For example, first known zero value is in row number 0 and column number 4 and the value is 9. So row 0, column 4 and value is 9. Next value is row number 1, column number 1, value is 8. Row number 1, column number 1 and the value is 8. Next is row number 2, column number 0, value is 4. Row number 2, column number 0, value is 4. Next value again exists in row number 2. Row number 0, row number 1, row number 2. And column number 0, 1, 2, 3. Row number 2, column number 3 and the value is 2. Next row number 3, column number 5 and the value is 5 row number 3 column number 5 and the value is 5 and the last value is in row number 4 column number 2 and the value is 2 now linked representation in linked representation we use a linked list data structure to represent a sparse matrix in this linked list we use two different types of node 
one is known as hedge node and the second one is known as element node hedge node is used to represent the rows and columns and element node is used to represent the elements or values so hedge node consists of three fields and element node consists of five fields hedge node is contains index value down and right index value that is which row and column this node contain down uh, pointer and right pointer down pointer points to next header node whereas right pointer points to the non zero element in that particular row or that particular column whereas element node contains row number in which that non zero value exists column number in which that uh, non zero value exists and the value itself down and right pointer points to the header nodes of column and row itself for example we can see in this diagram we have a matrix same matrix as we have used in triplet representation here we have 1 2 3 4 5 columns so uh, sorry five rows 1 2 3 4 5 so we have five header nodes for rows 1 2 3 4 5 and we have six columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have six header nodes for columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 this header nodes contains the same information as we have stored in the zero row of triplet representation total number of rows that is 5 total number of columns that is 6 and total number of non zero values that is six now we have first known zero value nine which is in zero row and fourth column so zero row zero row this and fourth column zero one two three four these both points to a element node element node which contains row number 0, column number 4 and the value is 9. And this pointer points backward to their header node respectively. Whereas the pointer of header nodes point to the next header node as we can see in this diagram. One more example we can see. Here the known 0 value is 8 in row number 1 and column number 1. So, row number 1, column number 1 points to row number 1, column number 1 points to a known 0 value, row 1, column 1 value is 8 and the pointer nodes point backward to the header nodes. One more example we can see. Next is value is 4. Row number 2 column number 0 points to a value 2 next row number 2 column number 0 value is 4 now it's header node no don't point backwards to this because we have a more non zero value non zero value in the same row but different column so jo, the row pointer doesn't point back to the header node so we have same value as uh, the non zero value in the same row that is 2 in column number 3 so column number 3 row number 2 we have one more non zero value that is value is 2 and the pointer back point backs to the header node now sparse matrices are of different types one is lower triangular a Sparse matrix or square matrix is called lower triangular if all the entries above the main diagonal are zero. If the this is your main diagonal, if all the entries above the main diagonal are zero, then such type of matrix is known as lower triangular. Upper triangular, if a sparse matrix contains all the element below the main diagonal are zero then such matrix is known as upper triangular matrix and a triangular matrix may be lower triangular or 
upper triangular. Means both lower triangular and upper triangular matrix in a combined way are known as triangular matrix. One more type of sparse matrix is tridiagonal matrix. If we have non-zero elements on the main diagonal, super diagonal and sub diagonal and all rest of the elements are zero, then such matrix is known as tridiagonal matrix. Thank you. This is all about the matrices or sparse matrices and their representation in memory and their types. Thank you.